Estate Sale Adventures, number 203, Squirrel Hill. First stop this Saturday was a garage sale right on Beechwood in some high-end townhomes. The art prints were pretty cool, but my favorite find was this family affair lunchbox with Mrs. Beasley, of course, and this strange image of Buffy and Sissy on the side. Next stop was number 204 in Regent Square. I love a turnkey sale, always super reasonable. Pittsburgh finds are always great, like this Alder Dice yearbook, and especially this What's Cooking in Monroeville cookbook. Brownie cameras are interesting, but this one needed some TLC. Kitschy clown statues are typical. Ladies hats are definitely in need of a comeback. The hardest to pass up was this vintage recipe organizer, filled to the brim. Downstairs was this magenta women's bicycle with tassels, and I spotted this functioning cuckoo clock on my way out too. Number 205 in West Homestead was definitely the pick of the litter today. First off, this beer poster from 1977 was a blast from the past. Along with this portable Fisher-Price toy record player, a Paymaster adding machine, and tons of comics, the really expensive kind. I really appreciate the collection of Pittsburgh Press newspapers, especially the commemorative editions. Printed in 1959, they showed illustrations of the past, a future of flying saucers, the significance of the steel industry, and best of all, how Salk declared victory over the polio virus. A reminder to get vaccinated. The Pittsburgh swag did not stop there. There was a panoramic illustration of downtown, a chalkwork relief of the point, a mink condition whatever it takes Pittsburgh Steelers record, a Rock'em Pens 1991 Stanley Cup playoff towel, and this very nice collection of bobbleheads. Now most sales have at least one themed collection. This one had a mushroom kitchen. It's not the first time I've seen this set, but it is the first time I've seen this clock. My friend nabbed it for a great price. Other finds included this auto harp in great condition, a vintage radio, a Mickey Mouse Magic Show piggy bank, a bowling pin from the nearby Forest Lanes, and some rainbow salt and pepper shakers from California. Shout out to Turnkey and the other liquidators for doing such a great job. Check out pghestatesales.com for next week's sales. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and find me on Etsy.